Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about this book, Lights Out by uh, T.S. Wiley and uh, Bent Formby. <clears throat> so this is a book that I've been hearing so many people talk about on other self-development YouTube channels. And I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time and finally I have my hands on it. So I've been starting to read it a bit and uh, I can introduce you to some of the ideas that you can see here on the front cover. <clears throat> Get 9 hours of sleep at night and lose weight, curb your craving for carbohydrates or food, uh, eradicate depression, lower your blood pressure and stress levels, reverse type 2 diabetes, minimize the risk of uh, heart disease, and help prevent cancer. So, wow. <laughs> First of all, wow. Just by getting 9 plus hours of sleep, you get to avoid so many different diseases. You will, your overall health will improve a lot, and you will basically feel better. <clears throat> I read, I, I think there was one, at one point in this book where the author said that before the, the 1800s or before the 1900s, when people started to use light bulbs, as you can see here, <laughs> if you've never seen a light bulb before, uh, before we started to use like electricity to light up our houses, our streets, people actually used to to sleep a lot more because people went to sleep when when it was dark and they woke up when the when the light was out when the when the sun rose you know that was our natural way of of waking and sleeping and uh when we 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 never kind of think about light in terms of a uh, biological signal because that is the function of light. Think about this, human beings have been through hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, millions of years of, e of evolution and there was throughout all those years there is one resource that we have been so closely connected to. And what resource is this? I'm talking about nature, right? And nature has its own rhythms, you know? The rhythms of light, the rhythms of uh, warmth and cold, the rhythms of, of life and death, you know? There's all these rhythms, all these cycles, you know? But when the 1900s came and we came up with this light bulb, we distorted the way that we live. We distorted that natural rhythm that have, had followed us throughout millions of years. And that is the rhythm of, of light. And light is in direct contact with our biology. This is what I want you to understand. This is one of the uh, grounded ideas of this book, okay? So when, let's, let's pretend that you were, uh, right now, you are uh, a caveman or a cave woman, okay? And uh, the only resource of light you have is sunlight. So you wake up when the when the sun rises and you go to bed, you go to to bed rock <laughs> when the sun sets, right? The light bulb works in just the same way. But the thing is that when when we have winter, it is signaling that the light bulb will give us the signal that Oh, it's still not it's still not winter. <laughs> it's still summer outside. So although the the light has gone, although the sun has set and you put on the your lights, what happens is that your body, your biological sundial will still be on. You will your body will think 
and this may sound weird, but your subconscious mind will think that it, it, it is still summer. Your instinct will, will be tricked into thinking that it's, it's still summer. And during the summer, what we would naturally do as, as a natural species is that we would eat a lot. <laughs> we would store a lot of energy because in the in the summer there is there is so much resources in nature in terms of food we would eat you know vegetables and plants and stuff like that and we would eat a lot more more than we needed and why 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 did we do this it's because of winter <laughs> winter is coming and it's very hard to to find resources it's very hard to find food so we ate more than we actually needed we stored fats on our bodies so that we could survive the winter right and this is one of the main reasons why people get overweight nowadays it is because we still use so much light during the winters we use artificial lights when the nights are longer and the days are shorter so, it, so the signal, signal that we are sending to our bodies is that the summer lasts the whole year. And this affects the way that we eat, the, the, uh, our um, way of processing our foods. We, we get cravings, we eat more than we actually need, right? And there is, there is you know, this whole process is explained in much much uh, in a much more dense way in this book but this is you know this is the short explanation for it this is my explanation for it this is my way of um, perpetuating this idea to you what you need to do in order to one of the things is to lose weight but also to improve your overall health in order to um, avoid all these diseases is to sleep more and also to sleep in your circadian rhythm which is the the natural rhythm of the sun during the different seasons right so during the winter you need to sleep more and during the summers you can sleep less and you can eat more that's basically how it is okay so yeah, this, this book is very, very interesting. I just shared some ramblings of ideas right now uh, <laughs> with you. I hope you liked it. Um, sleep more, sleep when the light is, well, when the light is dark, when the sun sets and rise when the sun rises. Okay, that's the lesson for today. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this wasn't too much of a rambling uh, <laughs> comment in the, give me some hate comments in the comments uh, section if you, if you think so. Uh, please like, share and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos. If you have any questions or requests, then feel free to share it down in the comments. I would love to, to answer you and give you some answers if you need. Um, and I hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential. Uh, I hope to see you later guys, so uh, stay tuned, bye.